Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard, and today we're doing a Walt Disney World update. We're going to go all over Walt Disney World, starting here with Typhoon Lagoon. So let's get right into it. Typhoon Lagoon is obviously closed right now. It's kind of a the colder months in Florida. Should hopefully reopen this summer, or I'm not sure if it has a reopening date, but you can see here is the large wave pool that is currently drained. That's a, that's a very large wave pool. It's massive. Like, yeah, big space. That's the one, I believe, with the big shipwreck on top of it. You can see the Lazy River. The Lazy River looks kind of blue, so that one might be full. But yeah, here's a quick Typhoon Lagoon update. Again, all these photos are thanks to the awesome, amazing Bio Reconstruct. Um, Blizzard Beach, not sure if that's open. Let me know in the comments below if that is open or if that is also closed for a refurbishment um, right now. Moving on to the Polynesian. So right here is Disney's Polynesian Resort, and they're getting a new DVC tower. You can see it's in this, basically the site prep stages. They have no vertical construction going on right now, but a lot of earth movers, um, pushing dirt, clearing dirt, and that should be vertical, going vertical pretty soon. See the monorail, I think it's going to include a new monorail station, and that is being worked on as well. The monorail is still operating um, as it goes, so it just kind of skips the Polynesian as obviously didn't stop there so it looks uh going pretty going pretty good right now we'll be watching this as it, it progresses over the next 100 years just kidding i'm sure disney will go much faster on this project than they did with tron but hopefully when disney uh wraps up these current projects to go uh quickly because like again the journey of water just a simple walkthrough is taking forever it seems like but as you'll see later on this update it looks pretty good and almost done opening late fall 2023 one project that disney does not want to go slow but really quickly is tiana right here this is the update on tiana's bayou adventure scheduled open in 2024 at disney world and here at disneyland as well you can see they covered the flume in some white or sorry brown tarping areas to probably cover it from dust and any rain they may get over there but yeah there's lots of scaffolding starting to pop up it's been a very uh sections of the project the lift hill or the drop has scaffolding on it as well you can't see it from this photo but you can see it if you follow blog mickey.com or wdwn today they have some good almost daily updates on this project so you can see scaffolding popping up there's sections of the mountain being ripped up um so yeah we want watching tiana's bayou adventure here at disney world and then when it closes here at disneyland we'll be making trips to disneyland to follow the progress of that project here as well they still have the decorative element, the branch on top of the mountain. That will be coming off, though. If you've seen the model, it looks pretty stumpy. Moving on to uh, Journey of Water here at Epcot. Looking just about pretty much complete. Again, these Walt Disney World 50th projects are finally wrapping up. Guardians opened Tron's opening um, on April 4th. And this Journey of Water, which probably should take the shortest amount of time to build and open, has taken... Quite a long time, but it's going to open in the fall of 2023, according to a D23 magazine um, issue. They said it's going to open up in late 2023, and I think reaffirmed it's going to open in fall 2023, but looks just about pretty much complete right now. Just some dirt surrounding it on the, ex on the exterior, but the interior looks fantastic. Another project that should be wrapping up hopefully this year, but it looks like it's full of dirt now, is this project. This is the the central or the central plaza i forgot it's like it's called it's in one of the epcot's neighborhoods but this is this will be garden space and then the building to the left corner down there the bottom left corner is the community new communicore building hopefully this stuff will wrap up this year doesn't look like it i mean it could if they speed up but doesn't look like it's hopefully this year or next year the gardens in the new Communicore building will wrap up. Looks nice and modern. I'm still not sure why they decided to leave half of it up and demolish half of it. They ruined the nice symmetrical aspects of Epcot right there. That world celebration. I think this is world celebration. Um, actually, that name is does sound familiar. So yeah, world celebration here. Not sure why they went on that design choice, but that's what they did. And uh, I think the new part looks great. I think a lot of Disney World looks old. And it's, it's got that retro feel, which is cool. 
but I kind of prefer our newer look here at Disneyland. Even we still have a retro look, but it looks just newer. So uh, I was hoping they'd go with that with the World Celebration and demolish both of them because you know it's half retro and half modern, which is kind of odd. Let me know what you think about that design choice down in the comments below. But either way, um, Mission Space is over there looking great, and Space 220 up on the top is looking fantastic as well. But that should, um, again, hopefully finish up later on this year for Epcot, because Epcot's been a construction mess for quite a few, for quite a few years with a terrible nighttime show. There's the, the harmonious barges right there to the left in the uh, World Celebration Pond, or the World Showcase Pond, or lake over there. I feel so sorry for you Walt Disney Worlders who uh, have to deal with uh, the Epcot construction and the taco barges for the past several years, or past few, few years here at the resort. But that's it for a quick Disney World update. Um, again, thanks to the people who took the recent poll. They said they want some more Disney content, so I figured why not give you a Disney World construction update since not much to see here at Disneyland as of yet. And I can't make it down there as often as I can Universal because it's just so far away. But what do you guys think of these Disney World updates? Let me know in the comments below. And guess what? An Epic Universe update is coming as well. So subscribe for that and stay tuned for that. That's coming up, I believe, on Friday. Got a couple other cool surprises in Super Nintendo World stuff for Super Nintendo World opening week. So stay tuned and subscribe for that as well. If you like this video, press that thumbs up button, subscribe for more Theme Park Disney and Universal updates, and much more. And as always, have a fantastic day.